guys, Marley here, and I am back with another Hardcore Minecraft. Now, I am not going to lie to you guys, I have no idea where we left off. Um, I have not been in this save since the last video, but it looks like it is just becoming daytime outside, so I'm going to brave taking a peek around. I did have a quick look in our inventory and stuff, and uh, we definitely need some food and some wood very bad, because we have some iron cooking, so... I'm going to go ahead and come over here and start chopping down a tree. Um, plans for today are number one, don't die. Oh, looks like we left some food out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sheep. Oh, or maybe the wolf ate it. Thanks, wolf. Can I steal this? Will you hurt me? Okay, thanks. Do I have any bones? No. Okay, that would have been really cool, but uh, don't have any. Anyway, plans for today. Number one, survive. Number two, start building a house. Number three, go mining. Now, I only have about 30 minutes to record this video before work. So we need to get all of these things done in a uh, record speed. If you are at my channel and you usually are here for Sims content but decided to stick around for this one, welcome. Uh, I actually got my boyfriend, who I've talked about on this channel many times, to download Minecraft uh, pretty recently, a couple days ago. And we decided to start a server together so that the two of us could like play together and have fun. And let me tell you, when I say that this man is the worst person at this game I've ever seen, I mean that genuinely. Like, I've had friends before who didn't really play the game, and so, you know, they weren't all that well-versed, but, like, they logged on and they figured shit out. No, my boyfriend, uh, we logged on and we went in the, we went into some caves and then we died in the new nether. And then I told him, I was like, go back into the cave and get us some iron because we ran out of gear and we're going to need more. And he was like, all right, bet. <laughs> and he went in there and we played the game for six more hours. Um, and he came back after six hours of being in the caves. And I'm like, how you doing, babe? How you doing? He's like, doing great. We're collecting stuff. No problem. I'm like, great. When he came back, what he had collected was an inventory full of cobblestone and seven iron. Now, when I say that I was mad... <laughs> I've never been more mad over this video game in my entire life. I was like, how? How did you spend so long doing this and come back with absolutely nothing? Okay, so I'm not really seeing any cave entrances around here. I'm just going to dig straight down. Maybe not straight down, but I'm going to dig like kind of straight. Actually, I'm going to dig straight down. We haven't really done anything in this world. Let's risk it. I'm going to dig straight down and hope I find um, a cave or something. And if not, I'm just going to do some mining until I do find one. I don't really want to strip mine. That's not too fun, especially because I don't really have anything else interesting to talk about. Um, there is a different background today, as always. It is because I record all around my apartment, um, but we did get our couch in. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that we moved earlier this year in late February. Oh, shit. Hold on. Story has to wait. I won't die to another skeleton. Ah, yes. See, I've been practicing. If you didn't believe me before, believe me now, because I fucking own that skeleton. Okay, anyway, so we moved in. Oh, diamond! Oh my god. This is the luckiest I've ever gotten in the Minecraft world. Thank you, gods. You knew. You knew that I have been struggling, um, and you helped me today. Blessed be this day. Blessed be the fruit. The fruit of our riches, which are diamonds, of course. Anyway, you guys know that I moved um, in late February to a new apartment. We downgraded a little bit, but it's a much nicer building with better amenities, yada, yada, yada. Um, and since then, I have been slowly furnishing my apartment, trying to get a space to record, etc. Still don't have a desk. We just don't have room for it. And my boyfriend's like really into League of Legends. Um, so he needs the desk for his League of legends -ing. So, I don't have one. So, basically, I record in a beanbag chair, or now the couch that finally came in. If you look behind me, take that down. Ruins the effect. You can see the lovely new couch that finally came in. So, now we have a couch for me to record on and a little TV tray. Oh, not into the lava. Um, and we have four diamonds. Come on, give me the fifth. Oh, okay. We really need five uh, to make any significant advancements, but it's fine. We don't really need to, to be going to the nether or anything right now anyway. I will not be going to the nether until I have at least like full diamond this time. Uh, the new nether is scary. The new nether is a whole other level of bad and scary. Let's get rid of uh, some gravel here. Let's pick up the gold. Um, but yes, that was a really good luck. Oh, there's the other diamond. 
Holy cow, our luck has changed. This, I would just like to say a big thank you um, to the creators of Minecraft for hearing my prayers and um, just, you know, really supplying me with the will to live today because, you know, it wasn't here when I woke up this morning and now, now it is. So thank you, thank you Minecraft for doing that for me. Here we are, I'm just gonna try to do this as safely as possible. I should really get a, wa a water bucket, dang. Okay, we are looking in a, we're in a really good spot right now. <sighs> okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know what to say right now. Six diamonds. How many do we have in total? Come on, baby. Let's go, boys. Ten diamonds for the boys. We got it here. Literally the best luck I've ever had starting a Minecraft game. I had, Also, I drank a lot of coffee today. I went to Dunkin'. I kind of, I had stopped drinking caffeine. I've been drinking only water, trying to lose that quarantine weight, you know. But recently, I'm like, all right, coffee is okay. We can, we can go back to coffee. So I've been going to Dunkin' in the mornings and getting like just a small, a small coffee from Dunkin'. But since I'm not used to it, my heart is like not having it. My heart is definitely not happy um, at me for drinking so much caffeine. What I want to do is go ahead and block up this cave just in case. Did you see how long it took me to find that just now? Wow, okay. Um, I want to block up this like upper part just in case any mobs are going to spawn up here and try to drop on us later because we're not going to explore it right now. So let me just get to a position where I can just like do one of these basically so that nothing can drop on me. Yeah, okay. So we should be safe now. Nothing can get through there and um, we should be safe from that direction anyway. Um, and then let's continue back here. Oh, also shout out to my dog, Athena, Athena. Hi. Um, you also may hear my cat meowing in the background. He's a little bitch and he wants to get in the top of the closet, except he's too scared to jump up there by himself. So we have to help him. And I'm not getting up to do it because I'm playing Minecraft. Okay guys, I'm back. And basically two things happened. One, I realized I'm big dumb because we already have full iron armor. Two, I got a water bucket. So I'm gonna go back to that lava. I'm going to mine the obsidian that we need for an enchanting table. And then I'm going to go back to the surface and start trying to um, make some enchantments and combine some gear so that I can feel a little bit safer. Although I will say once I have iron armor, I feel relatively safe. Like obviously I can still die because I'm bad at the game. Um, but it's a lot less likely that I'm going to die. You know, with no gear, it's pretty much like you're facing death at this point at all times. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, water bucket. Ah, oh, quick plays, quick plays. Yeah, boy. That was the quickest Minecraft plays of my life. Very proud of myself. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, we're not gonna jump into lava again. Is this where I came from? Hmm, no. Okay, let's just see if we can go up until we reach the top. That could work. I mean, does nowhere in this cave go up? Like, what, what's going on? Am I gonna have to dig really? <sighs> okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I will do it. And this is going to be boring, so I'll see you guys um, in a minute when I'm at the surface. Oh shit, guys. So I dug like two feet and discovered a spawner. I don't know what the spawner is for yet, and I don't want to break it. So, uh, okay, what to do? So I think it's a zombie spawner from the sounds of it, um, and I don't want to break it. Oh, I landed right under it. Wow, good luck. It's a skeleton spawner. Okay, so uh, best way to proceed here. I need to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm spilling shit all over my carpet. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we're back with a possible drop in audio quality and no face cam. That's because I had some technical difficulties, as in... um. So, <laughs> you guys know I'm poor, I say it all the time, but my, my laptop, my phone was set up recording my face cam on top of um, some ultrasonic BBs, some coconut butter lotion, and a Yeti cup. And it was sitting on top of both of those things, pointed at me using the camera. I hit the table, everything fell down, um, and we're in a pretty tricky situation. So what I've been doing is just mining a little hole right here, and then I can kind of like jump in and put some torches in, but let me eat. They still can't hit me here, but I can pretty much kill them if they jump in like this, even though they can technically hit me. 
Um, yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do is keep trying to make little hidey holes and put torches in and also loot the chests. Um, torches so that we can, you know, stop spawning things and then hopefully I can like get them to drop into like a one hole and I can murder them. Uh, what can I throw out? What can I throw out? Furnaces, you can go. I wanna collect the arrows. Okay, so let's see what's in this chest right here. Uh, a saddle. Yes, I saw horses outside. Oh, shoot. Okay, you can go. I want to collect the bones so I can get a wolf and a music disc. We will take you. Also, another thing that happened is that my computer started dying. I only have one working USB-C port, so I had to unplug my mouse to plug in my computer. Let me eat. Um, and so I'm not playing with the mouse right now, which is hindering performance. I'm playing with the trackpad. Everything's against us. I don't know where the zombies are coming from either. And then maybe I can staircase up here and make like a one block hole for me to peek into and place torches. I'm running out of food too, so I don't want to get trapped down here um, too much longer. I might just have to give up for now and then get the coordinates and come back. So I don't hear the zombies anymore, which I guess is a good thing. And it looks clear in here, so I think we're safe to just come place some torches. Um, okay, so what I'm hoping isn't happening is that there's a zombie spawner somewhere close by because I definitely heard a ton of zombies. Uh, okay, so we got some horse armor, some bones, a second bucket I'm not going to take. I'll take the string just because it's an easy bow. Um, okay, so I got the coordinates. I wrote them down. We will come back here. I just want to see if I can... I don't have much food left. Okay, I really need to go home. I really, really, really need to go home. So that's top priority. And then I will come back to this when I can handle it a little bit better. Um, if we survive in this world for, you know, a little bit longer, perhaps we could turn this into a spawner. Do people even still make spawners out of mob spawners? Am I, like, just dumb? Like, is this a thing? Ooh, free bow, free bow. What can I get rid of? Uh, if I get the bow, I want the arrows. Three sand, you can go. Is that a thing people still do, like build spawners out of the, the, the zombie spawners, or no? Am I just like being dumb? I feel like you get unlimited arrows, which is still useful in any version of the game. Okay guys, so we're back. It's um, a night time out. So I we dug up pretty much right where we started from in this little like same little cobble base that I had left and wanted to. I keep saying cobble. I know that it's called cobble. I don't know why I'm doing that. But um, I pretty much ended up in the exact same spot, so I'm just going to make some furnaces. I'm going to start smelting. Um, for the rest of this episode, I want to try and build maybe um, a little house. Not anything big, but something we can start with. And I want to get some farming going so that we have a better supply of food. I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling pretty hopeful right about now. We have things to make an enchanting table, so... I am going to do that right away as well. Sorry, moving back to trackpad. My game just had an aneurysm. And, uh, okay, so we're going to do this. Try to get our ore smelted up. Then I'm going to make the enchanting table and get some better gear, which will make me feel a lot more confident. I think we have everything we need. Oh, we don't have leather. <sighs> that sucks. That sucks. It really does. But I think that there are cows outside. I saw it last time it was daylight, so... All I need to do is wait it out and then I can go grab a cow or kill a horse, rip. We could also befriend a horse because we found a saddle. This episode, knock on wood, has gone suspiciously well. Um, I did get a bow. It's almost out of use. Maybe I'll make an anvil because I'm going to want to be combining some of this stuff anyway. I keep like putting stuff away like, well, if I die, I'll have an extra iron pickaxe. But no, sis, if you die, you dead. <laughs> so I'm, yeah pretty useless. Uh, can I also take my water bucket with me? That would just be smart, I think, but we are out of food, so I'm trying not to kill all the mobs, because if you kill all the mobs in your area, and then you have to, like, go find more, it gets really annoying. Okay, so let's see if we can find one cow to get this made. We might have to kill a horse. Looks like we're gonna have to kill a horse. I feel bad about it, but not too bad. Hi, horsey! So the question is, which one of you do I keep and which one of you dies? Well, you two look exactly the same. So I think that one of you can die. 
It's you. Sorry, I need the leather. I want to live more than I want you to live. And no leather. Okay. Creeper, you better get away. You better back it up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Lag, 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 lag. <sighs> ah, it's okay. Um, I think I like you the most, so you live. Horses do drop leather, right? I'm not just, like, killing horses for no reason. Ah, yes. I didn't think so. Awesome. So now we can make an enchanting table. <sighs> Once we have enchantments, I think I'll feel a lot better about life. Uh, also get a farm going so we can breed these sheep and have unlimited food. Let's see if I can kill this guy. The lag was not on our side last time. Okay guys, sorry, back to face cam. Sorry to cut it short like that. Basically what happened is my dog started freaking out, running all over the place and throwing up a bunch of times. So I didn't get to court, get to record an outro in the game, but we will continue on with the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment down below telling me what other games you'd like to see. And if you'd like me, to continue this series um and if not you can also tell me that i'm a piece of shit in the comments below i'll take it as a compliment and anyway thank you so much for coming um i hope to see you guys next time sorry about the abrupt ending i had some pet emergencies and i'll see you guys next time goodbye